common denominator. This happens every so often. So it's something you need to see. Um, sine over cosine plus cosine over sine. It is worth noting that this problem is the same as tan plus cotan. But that doesn't really help you get anywhere. Tan is sine over cosine. Cotan is cosine over sine. Doesn't help because we need to write the expression in terms of just tan. So, hmm. Or does it help? Can we rewrite cotan in terms of just tan? Hmm. Well, sure we can. Cotan is the same as 1 over tan, isn't it? Absolutely it is. But we want to just write this in one nice fraction. We don't want two fractions. So how can we do that? Well, we want to add these two fractions together. And in order to add two fractions together, you need a common denominator. Oh my goodness, yes you do. So how am I going to create a common denominator? Right now I have one over here. I wish I had a tangent on the left side. Well, let's just include one. Tangent of theta, tangent of theta. Perfect. Now what do we have? Well, now we have, uh, let's see, on the top, tan times tan is tan squared, tangent squared, over tan times 1 is tan. And then over here, we still have 1 over tan. Hey, we can roll with that. We can use that because now we have a common denominator, so we can add these two fractions together. Now we can just write this as one fraction over tan. Tan squared plus one. Is this the cleanest, nicest, most beautiful final answer in the world? No, it's actually arguably worse than where we started, but it follows the... Um, follows the directive of rewriting it in terms of just tangent. And it illustrates how to find and use a common denominator to add two fractions together. And that was my aim. Beautiful. Uh, we have one more video to go of just a really downright awesome example.